Hello everybody, how's it going? Big LT here. Welcome back to another food review. Normally I have either Scotty and or the Groby with me, but um, let's just say, well with Scotty for around thing, we're not yet ready to go back to his place. And for Groby, he's kind of here, but kind of not, and no big deal. But anyway, I want to do one, or at least a few, on my own. And we're doing this. And if Scotty's watching, yes, I've seen you done this before me. But the only thing is, I've had these around for a little while. Not like, say, a month or anything. No. Um, probably about a week since uh, at the time of recording this. I just haven't gotten around to actually recording this. Only because um, shiny hunting kind of threw me away from it. I was actually shiny hunting uh, Dialga and then Giratina on... Ultra Sun. God, Lord, that was tough. That was tough to get off. Don't smell much of anything. Anyway, don't know if it's, it's supposed to. No, it doesn't show anything that wouldn't make that wouldn't make it look like cheddar. Okay, you can taste the cheddar. That's the thing. Oh, so I should probably give you guys a little history lesson about these uh, Pringles. And I learned this from a, a TV show that I have on my Xbox that also airs on, I think it's the History Channel. It's called uh, The Food That Built America. One of the episodes, they talk about Pringles. And um, let's just say... Pringles, these aren't actually made from actual potatoes. If anything, I think they're more processed potatoes or kind of like your kind of like instant pota uh, mashed potatoes. Somewhat similar to that. Um, and then basically like hydrated or something like that to in, into this shape. Um, hence the the uh, what we get what we have is for Pringles. Um, so these aren't really potato chips like say uh, ruffles or um, oh what's a good one um, there's kettle chips I know that but I don't eat kettle chips uh, Doritos I guess are kind of more like tortilla chips uh, Cheetos is processed cheese chips um, there is, there's the uh, tortilla chips that people use for nachos not the Doritos but the other one um, I know there's a potato chip, like an actual just straight up potato chip. Like an actual chip made from an actual potato that they have fried. There is some like that. I can think like Old Dutch is one of them, but it's like I don't know if Old Dutch does potato chips. But all in all, these are not made from real potatoes. They're just, you know, potato flake type stuff that's been hydrated to look like this so there's your little history lesson about Pringles you're welcome that's also the, it's also the reason why um when you go and buy Pringles they're not actually in the chip aisle they're actually in the snacks with like popcorn and pretz pretzels, pretzels kind of uh, I think our local Walmart the pretzels are in the chips aisle anyway but I've seen another Walmart's where the pretzels are in the aisle where the Pringles and the popcorn is I think jerky is another one if you're not getting it from the checkout counter, like Slim Jim, for example. Um, you know, there's that. But anyway. Mm. There is another thing here I should probably bring up about Pringles. So it says here on the canister uh, potato crisps. Uh, back when these were invented and um, obviously put onto the market, there was a major chip company that saw these and said, these aren't real potatoes. These aren't real potatoes. So they filed a lawsuit against uh, the people who made Pringles. And they said, well, you have to change these because these are not real chips. You have to change them, uh, change their name. So basically they, they say something else. So they went with potato crisps. Close enough because in, Eng in England, 
or at least um, the UK. What we what we here in America call chips over there, they call crisps. So if you think about like why do we call fish and chips? Why we call that one um, that one dish uh, fish and chips uh, when basically there's just fr- uh, chips and fries or <laughs> chips and fries, uh, fish and ch- fish and fries. If I can say that right. Um, it's obviously because since it's an English dish, uh, in English they call it fish and chips because what we call French fries, they call it chips. Uh, so what we call chips, they call it crisps. Makes more sense. That's that's your nuts and little history. That's for you. Basically, they had to change this from being called potato chips to just, you know. Actually, I think it was just, I think back when they were first released, it was called Pringles potato chips. But because they were lawsuited to say they're not real potato chips, they had to drop the potato chip name. Um, on their uh, canvassers and they were just called just regular Pringles and then on the bottom to keep it keep it even from going even further into that lawsuit they call it potato crisps so there you go another 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 little information for you guys on that one regardless I love these I really do I'm talking about the Pringle not the chip but we'll get to that in a sec I guess the thing is the, the ingredient is de, de- germinated yellow corn flour and vegetable oil. Ah, here we are. Uh, dried potatoes, obviously, because instant, instant mashed potatoes are basically dried potatoes anyway, so. Well, it's lying, I guess. But they had it, but I guess there are some other ingredients in there to make it what it is. Um, maltodextrin, rice flour, cornstarch, whole wheat flour, malted barley flour, mono and di, diglycerides, di, bleh, diglycerides, I think I'm saying that right, sugar, um, there's lots of 2% of, of us of, of these other ingredients, but I'm not going to risk them all. Actually, cheddar cheese is one of them. Milk, uh, enzymes, salts, cheese cultures. I have no idea what cheese cultures even is. Oh, high olec, olec, oh, I have no idea what that word is. Soybean and or sunflower, so. Oh, that's what the, that's what, that's what's in the vegetable oil. Okay, corn, cottonseed, I soybean and or sunflower. Okay. So it's probably something in soybean or sunflowers that make vegetable oil. I have no idea. All right, I guess we can get to the rating now. My rating is gonna be 8.5, 8.5. It would go nine, but um, I mean, I mean, here's the thing. I can definitely taste the cheese in this, but I don't know what makes it farmhouse cheddar. Or what, or what the harvest blend is supposed to be about. I would imagine it has to do something with these things, I guess. It's not a thing here. I have no idea what some of those things are. They look like seeds of some sort. Well, I don't want to say seeds. Maybe some kind of like grains or something. Eh, regardless, 8.5. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But apparently you're a little Pringle history. I do know what I'm talking about on that. Or at least... 98% of it, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty much correct on. The other 2% is uncertain, uncertain but close enough. Whoa, okay. Anyway, I finish this chip. Sorry, crisp. So between my teeth and my cheek, I had to scrape it out with my hung to get the rest of it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this food review. I've been Big LT. I do have another one coming up. I'll be recording that one tomorrow. This one will go tomorrow. Uh, this one will be live tomorrow 6 a.m. And then sometime later in the day of that day, I should have, I should be recording another food review uh, for obviously, let me think, today's Tuesday, so Thursday. So that, that video will go live Thursday, same time. And yes, there's another one Scott has already done. Again, he beat me to the punch, though. But um, 
Granted, I bought that yesterday at the time of recording it, so he probably bought it before I did, but this this I've had for at least a week, and I'm just now getting around to recording it, so. Probably, like I said, because I was, like, busy shiny hunting, I was really getting, I was really getting into the shiny hunting stuff on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Big LT, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.